the meantime, first question is very basic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Please continue, sir. You were saying. Yes. Yeah, so in the meantime, uh, if you guys have downloaded the book, Doctor Pius must have given you the link to download this book. Please go ahead, download the book, read it with me and after me. And if you like the book, do leave the uh, you know ratings and reviews on on Amazon website. Thank you. So, Doctor Pius, what was the question? So the question is very basic. Uh, it, it is asking what is the difference between ml and embedded devices so ml is machine learning um it's essentially a technology uh, which is associated with algorithms frameworks compilers devices um ml can be on your gpu tpu on any kind of hardware now embedded means um it's a very small device like there is no i mean uh, there are few operating systems but generally there is a specific board which is not generic like your computer your cell phone gpus and high end servers they are generic like you can write any kind of program and you have uh, connected to a keyboard you have hard disk you're connected to internet you have um you know things like uh, A, a cam a, a microphone and such so all these things are given to you and also given in a generic processor what that means is you have the isa the assembly language on that processor helps you create any kind of uh, application ranging from finance to uh, networking and and such uh, with ease uh, and so those are general purpose processors and systems embedded systems are very specific like you have instead of the data coming from the internet or being read from the hard disk you are reading it from camera directly from the camera or from your audio microphone or you know movement sensor your gps locator and there are 10000 different sensors in the world today that provide the input and you take that input in the application process it and produce some kind of uh, signal and uh, create the application so it's a very limited very specific kind of application uh, for uh, embedded so uh, embedded systems and embedded software two different okay. things yeah. okay so we have another question sir uh, this is a question from a student how can i have a career in ml being from ece domain and how difficult it would be for me to understand the concept yeah um uh so uh, what is the background again from uh, she is from electronics and communication background okay. jaya is her name yeah So Jaya um like I said in the beginning machine learning is uh, is is uh, is a uh, you know large uh, area you you require different skill sets so for tiny ml I can tell you you need five different skill sets one is your hardware engineer who understands what is the kind of cpu we need what kind of sensors to be connect and stuff so, and then you need a software engineer who can take the library generated and create the application right on top and then you need a data scientist which takes the data and creates the model right and then you need an iot engineer meaning you have to have this device and connected in a fashion then there are swarm and network of these devices or a group of these devices actively working together right um and lastly you have embedded engineer which understands some of these embedded protocols like how do you uh, communicate with usb um, there is no screen you don't see a screen connected to this right so the way it communicates is a is a micro usb here and you connect that to one of the other systems which can take this data and connect it to the screen so that you can debug there are hardware debuggers so that's where the electrical or electronics background comes into play as to when you understand some of these protocols that a data scientist would have difficulty understanding that a hardware engineer would have difficulty understanding and these four five skill sets come together to create one application so um 
you would have a wonderful career uh, if you start from any one of those domains and and pick up and grow and 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 accumulate your information and skill sets in these other you know domains to to if you want to grow you know as a as a one stop shop kind of an engineer that you know everything most of the industry relies on you know uh, engineers and programmers and uh, professionals who are uh, very smart in one specific niche so you being going deep into some of these protocols and how to collect the information and create the application using some of these protocols will help you uh, you know grow your career in any ml or embedded systems okay so we have one more mm-hmm. Is Tiny ML a new hardware platform, a software tool, or a completely new AI methodology? Um, it's a combination of things. Um, so, uh, like you have, for example, you have telescopes, right? So there are different kind of telescopes: the one that are for domestic use to the one that is deployed into the space. Very different science, very different optics. right um and it is somewhat similar to that tiny ml is kind of combination of things where you have algorithms technology framework the hardware designed to bring out these applications and the applications themselves and sensors so that there are quite a few things that are coming together and 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 that are that are building this tiny ml thing and are of course your embedded um embedded systems right uh so tiny ml is a is a combination of things um but there are parts that create that tiny ml ecosystem so that's what tiny ml is called just like your embedded systems right or your desktop right desktop has a hardware it has a pcb it has your you know software or operating system the drivers and then you have the monitors and such so you know it has number of those things coming together to give you something that you can use just to connect to let's say you know an internet and and and, and browse and for that matter so number of things coming together to create that application it's a similar analogy here Okay sir now you can continue we'll take up uh, questions in the end towards the end of the program great